Well, hello everyone, Sambo here. Welcome back to my channel. Ugh, oh, I've been away for a little while, but I'm glad I am back. I've been super busy. It was my birthday over the weekend, also my mum's, and I've been really, really busy at my job. Just quickly before we get into this whole video, I did make a recent modding your downtown tutorial video on the official City Skylines to, uh, channel. So go check that one out because there's actually some really good information about how to overlay buildings. And um, yeah, it's just a really, really handy one to know if you want to do some more in-depth stuff. So today I wanted to go over the, um, the new little cr content creator. Is that what it's called? It's basically a modern city center style little building pack. It came out, I think, last week. I'm a little bit slow. It's, I think, yeah, I think it's called Mon Modern City Center. Um, basically, what it is, it contains, I think, 39 uh, new buildings. And the price is about, I think it was $7.99. I can't remember if that was US or Australian dollars. But yeah, let's just say $8 in general. And yeah, so after having a look at it, this is it here. I put it into my uh, Gibraltar City just for comparison to see what it all looks like. And yeah, first first reactions, I do like it, um, but I just want to say that there are going to be some things that I don't like throughout this video, and um, I hope it doesn't come across as being super negative or something or over critical. I don't know. So if you're considering buying this, I thought we would just go through what it's all about, see what's actually in it, what I think we need more of, or if we have enough of, blah blah blah. Just basically everything. So let's have a look. Okay, so just quickly, if you, um, when you first get this, it will come into a pack in your theme. So it'll be this one here, modder pack. It seems a little bit weird how it's written there, but that's how it is. But if you have the find it mod, you can actually type in, it is MCW. So here is all of the buildings. So it is actually only commercial buildings. There's nothing else. There's no residential. To me, that seems a bit weird because a downtown area has a lot of office space as well. So, hmm, because if you look here, we have the commercial on the bottom and then what's gonna be up here? It's probably offices or residential. So it seems a little bit odd that there isn't any offices in that, but that is okay. Um, also, it's only high commercial, so there's no low density, but I mean, that kind of makes sense. But if we look at the building heights, these are all of the building heights. So you won't get any that are higher than these levels here, which to me seems a little bit odd because this is supposed to be a modern city center. And when you think of modern, you think of really high rise buildings, really clean, lots of glass and things like that. To me, this looks like a little bit of a older style downtown area. What do you guys think? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but this just doesn't really resemble a, a modern downtown to me. It kind of, I mean, if you want to get a larger building, let's just go in here and, you know, you can kind of like overlay a larger building, like maybe up there or something like that. Maybe then it'll look more realistic because you can use all of these new modern city buildings as a, oops, as like the ground level buildings as the foundation. Then you can put the larger buildings on top. Then in my opinion, it's going to work and just look like a proper downtown area, but that is just my opinion. And then if we actually look at the levels of the buildings, so with, so the same as all commercial buildings, there is only three levels, which to me seems a little bit odd as well, because, you know, why, where, we want our, we want our five level buildings. We want the Gucci and then basically all of those really fancy ones, right? So where are they? Come on. But I mean, that's just how, I think that's just the standard for the game. So there are only three levels. For residential, it does go up to five. I'm not sure about offices as well. So to actually break it down and show you guys what all of the different buildings look like, I actually put them all over here just to show you guys. And just so you can see all of the buildings a little bit more in depth. So these guys over here, these are our level one buildings. So you can actually mix them all together and there isn't really too much of a difference. So like for example, the level one buildings, they're not really scummy looking, if you know what I mean. Like look at this one. This this one still has pot plants up here. We've got little shade things as well. So here they are. This one kind of looks like a residential building, but you can go down here. You can actually see inside these shop areas. They have little walkways underneath. Um, you could even put roads through here if you know how to do that. And yeah, I really do in particular like that they have the shop fronts at the bottom and the little shade cloths as well. That's just a nice little in-depth thing because, you know, with 
with my building style, I often put the commercial on the bottom and then the offices on top just to make it look more alive. And if we come around here, we have our level two buildings. Now, something that I really, really like is that we have underground parking. Yay, oh my God, there it is. Look at that. Because where has our underground underground parking been all this time? It's been absent. So now we actually have that, which I think is so awesome. I love that we have the, the little pot plants out front, the seaters, um, little walkways underneath, the shop fronts, spaces. It, it is good in terms of the variety. Um, and then, you know, just having all of these little shop fronts and things like that. And you can actually look inside and there's people in there. So that's a nice little addition. With the, and we've got the pot plants up there. Um, different roof styles as well. And it's at least it's not just one level. So, for example, we have this one here. We have this higher one here. This one has a roof. This one has different leveled terraces. We've got, what's that, a tank on top or something like that. So, yeah, there is a good little, a little bit of a variety. Uh, and then there's also some really larger buildings like this one here. And then you have some really small one tile times four as well. Oh yeah, we also have these little guys here as well. So these ones come in all different levels as well. And these ones over here are the level three. So a little bit more cleaner, a bit cleaner looking. I don't know, maybe more modern. But we have this one here. So some of them do go around the corners as well, which is a nice little addition. And yeah, basically the same as all the others. Shop fronts on the bottom, planters up there. And um, yeah, we've got some parking, we've got the shade cloths and yeah looks really good so just to show you guys we have these three little buildings up here so I guess they're good for I don't know just like having them on the corner for getting a bit of food or something like that so what's this like I don't know what's that it's something for tickets we got some curry and then what is that swags bags tags gags so a bit of everything I guess I don't know but yeah these are generally how all of the buildings look. This isn't all of the buildings, but this is a good uh, showcase of how they all look. So yeah, like I said, I really do like that we have the shop fronts down the bottom. It, it just makes it look so much more alive. And um, yeah, that that is a really good thing to have in your downtown to make it look realistic. Now, onto the negatives. So there are a couple of things that to me, just I'm just like, why? So first of all, it is a building of 39, I mean, a pack of 39 buildings. But to me, I'm like, where is the plaza in this pack? Because like in a downtown area, you have plazas, you have your central square or something like that. You know what I mean? And I thought in this pack, there would at least be one little plaza area that we can plop down that can be, you know, the center of our little new modern downtown area. So unfortunately, there isn't. And to me, that's just weird. So I made one myself. So this is all in-game stuff. These little buildings did come with the, the this pack. But yeah, where where's our plaza? That just seems a little bit odd. And the other th another thing that I don't like is... Uh, there is a lack of sizes. So where is it? For example here Suddenly we go from how many levels one two three four five six seven eight nine levels and we go down to one level To me that just seems a little bit odd because you know, it's it's, it's supposed to be a downtown They wouldn't waste um, a lot of space with just this one little level here And if this was an open space, this would be one big plaza, you know what I mean? So it seems a little bit odd and the last thing that kind of annoyed me was When you have an angle it kind of it just it looks odd. There's no buildings on angles. There's just It's it's just lacking that so when it goes to an angle or an odd shape It automatically puts in these little buildings here and that just doesn't look good to me That is that's some bad apples right there. I don't like that um, yeah, it's just ugh. and then look at this <laughs> look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, so besides that it's all right. You can um, You know put them down move it around with the move it mod But one last thing that I thought it was really really missing and I was hoping oops I was and I was really really hoping to see this in here and that would be some type of pedestrian street so for example if I show you guys I was hoping for something either like this one right here if I just go like that so for example like that so because a lot of the time in Australian downtowns and European downtowns they'll actually convert 
uh, an original roadway into a pedestrian friendly area which kind of becomes like a real central area they have little seating areas you know people playing the guitar and things like that so I was really really hoping that they would put something in that because it's such a huge important part of a downtown area unfortunately not so that was a little bit odd um, I was also hoping that there would be maybe like a market pedestrian street like that or something like these guys here just just something else a little bit more in depth instead of just buildings because you know if we're going to do a downtown pack come on let's do it let's do it correctly and put actual downtown necessities in you know what i mean so either do it right or maybe just don't do it at all especially with the pricing because eight dollars for a pack of 39 buildings hmm yeah i mean my i mean i don't want to sound rude or anything but my way of thinking is that we can go onto the Steam Workshop, which is completely free, and we can go on there and download literally hundreds of buildings for free, or we can pay $8 for 39 buildings. So, hmm, you know, something just seems a little bit odd, especially since we're lacking like a plaza and, you know, some pedestrian friendly roads and even assets or something like that. I don't know. It just doesn't seem all right. But what do you guys think? I mean, overall, I like that we have some actual proper new buildings in the game instead of just assets from the workshop. But um, yeah, I do think it's lacking a little bit because 39 buildings. Mm. But yeah, what do you guys think? How many of you actually bought it? I might put a poll just saying how many guys of you bought this? Yes, no, planning on it or something like that. Because I'm genuinely, genuinely curious. But I do love some of the aspects of this, like the shop fronts here. Um, and these, you know, just the variety of buildings, the colors, that's, that's cool. I like that, that aspect of it. But yeah, look at that. There we go. Got the mountain in the background. But yeah, I think that is basically all I wanted to cover in this video. But again, I don't mean to sound super critical or harsh. I'm just trying to break it down and be really honest and open with you guys about how it actually is. Because, you know, some of you guys do ask me all the time what things should they should you download which one should you buy and yeah so i just want to really be honest with you guys and not just say buy it buy it buy it because i i, I don't want you guys to spend on spend your money on something that you're not sure about so anyway let's leave it at that so yeah make sure you click on the poll see how everyone else is doing did they buy it are they planning on it? i don't know and also my uh planning your I mean, modding your downtown video will be linked down below. So check that out. And thanks, guys. I'll catch you all next time. Oops, sorry, guys. Just one more thing that I want to mention quickly is when you actually um, put in these buildings. So if you're using the general grid alignment, so when you're planning out the roads, it shows you the, you know, the general square alignments. If you use that, it actually creates these awkward gaps in between. So some of the buildings actually have little seating areas out back, which is a really, really cool aspect. Some of them don't. So to me, that just seems a little bit odd as well. So I would have liked them to actually either, you know, just put a backyard thing in basically all of them or some of them a little bit more just so we don't have to actually go in and do it ourselves but anyway I just thought I would mention that as well so if you are going to use a, a basic grid I would probably either make the grid one square smaller or you can detail them yourself but anyway that's all bye guys